Hello Lulas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, it's me again. <laughs> oh guys, guys, thank you guys for following me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that. I finally reached back to 3,000 um, followers on Instagram. I deleted my Instagram years ago when my numbers were way high and yes I care about my numbers because that's where I post my pictures a lot of my pictures at and um I deleted it for a while like maybe a year and then I finally went back to it so I'm just trying to build my following back up on Instagram but if you're not following me on this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel as well I'm not gonna go into all the extras and stuff I just want you guys to hang out with me while I get baby Nigel dress and Nigel is the prototype number three Willow Awake by Claire Tilla Dolls and I am I changed him last night into this actually but I was like you know what I am going to see if I can dress him up and oh his lips are so divine I love the way she did the lips. His lips was very translucent. Um, so, what are you, baby? Say I am a full body soft silicone baby. And he has elbow armatures. Say yes, I am. And he has a drinking wet, which you guys know I rarely use. But, you know, he was not accustomed and he had it in there because, and then Noah has one too. So it's like, sometimes I use it. It's kind of cool when you use it and like you use warm water and then with the warm water and they're like laying on, on, your, on your lap, you can literally feel the, the, the warm water going in and it kind of, it really feels like super real so yeah so it kind of really gives you that real feeling a lot of people like question like why we collect these dolls and like be like oh you know oh this fuzz from the blanket <laughs> so um they question you know us and be like why would you change them why would you you know why would you buy clothes for them and all that and stuff it is the most coolest thing ever in the world and I just feel like I am so over giving explanations I do it because I love it that's the only thing I can tell people right now I do it because I absolutely love it and it's just relaxing you know what I did last night I literally put him in after I changed him I felt kind of bad because um, Noah was wrapped in his little blanket I couldn't decide what I wanted to put Noah on so he's still in his diaper just a diaper and so I wrapped him in his little um blanket that he came with and um I was sitting there and I was like okay I'm gonna put him in his in his little cradle rocker and it has music and it moves and stuff like that well I didn't have it to where it moved but I did turn on the nature sound and people will be like well why would you turn that on for a doll so this is the part this is parts of the stuff that people don't understand. So I turned that on, but it wasn't necessarily for for Nigel. It was for me because um, I was having quite a bit of anxiety um, and I was trying to relax. And that, that, believe it or not, like the water sound of that thing, like just the water like you're on the ocean, just swoosh. It was so relaxing for me. So I laid in my bed and I left that on last night and it really soothed me. And then it soothed me until it started getting on my nerves. Like after a while, it got on my nerves. Like when I woke up this morning, I was like, okay, I'm over it. But last night it was relaxing. I dripped off to sleep listening to nature sounds. So it wasn't for the doll. And that's one of the reasons I used to do it. I used to put the light on 
when I had one with the light that would light up, I would do that because I don't like to sleep in the dark. I'm afraid of the dark. That's another one of my crazy weird secrets. <laughs> so I usually sleep with a TV on or something like that. But, you know, since Gabby, I am getting better because Gabby likes to sleep in the dark. So I have been trying to be a little bit, um, even though she sleeps in her own room, I am like, okay, let me try it. Cause I mean, she'd be like, mommy, can you turn off my light? And I'm thinking like, she need a night light because I need a night light. <laughs> but, um, I have, but I usually like some type of light on like the bathroom light, the closet light, some kind of light coming in the room or the hallway light. I do that sometimes. So the lights from their little rocker thingy um, used to be a, a thing to help too. So a lot of this stuff is for me. And I know I'm way super grown. I don't need nobody to tell me how old I am. But I know, but that's just one of my quirky things. Um, I always loved um, shopping for babies. I remember when my babies were getting older and I was married and I would still go to the baby section and, and look in there and I would love when somebody else was having a baby because then that mean that I got to buy from them. Oh, I need to get the scissors to cut this off. He's going to put on this little, this little thing here, but I'm going to go get, the, grab the scissors. But I used to love to shop for other people, babies, people, um, People would always invite me to their baby showers. I would like barely know the people and they invite me to their baby showers because I loved buying gifts for babies. So I had a situation where one of my family members were like acting funny with their baby. Like, you know, basically like, I don't know how you, you want to put it. Like baby, basically using their baby like, I don't know. I don't know. But the, you know how it go. And I, I used to buy for that baby and I stopped. And then I, you know, when I got my dolls, I was like, you know what? I'll just dress my dolls. And back then I was only collecting just reborns. And because um, when I first came into the hobby, I looked at some of the other collectors and I thought, wow, that's just ridiculous. I mean, I'm like, I love the dolls and all that, but they don't need all that. I was like, wow, that that's they're over the top. Like, really? Like, they got all this stuff, nursery furniture, all this extra. Now, I wanted the nursery furniture and stuff, but the clothes and stuff, I thought, that was just too much. Like, why are they buying all these clothes and stuff? You know, just switch their outfit out here and there. But I realized it became so addictive so quick. And then, especially, like, when you're taking pictures and stuff, like, you don't want to keep taking pictures with the same outfit on and stuff. I know that's shallow, but <laughs> when I first came into the um, hobby, my babies like every day I would change all my babies and they would, when I change one baby, I change all the babies. When I bought for one baby, I bought for all the babies and I had a big collection of reborns, but I, um, I realized they never wore anything more than once. And, but then the clothes start building up and stuff like that. So I finally found a way to get rid of that stuff. I start giving it to real babies. I used to trade it out at Once Upon a Child because that's where I used to shop for discounts. And I only bought clearance items. I never splurged on expensive items and stuff at first because you know of course number one I thought it was kind of crazy to spend all the excess money on their clothes and then I don't know so but all that seemed to change all that went out the window now I absolutely love shopping for them I love dressing them I love everything that that goes along with the hobby, collecting cool baby items, stuff like that. I can't wait to get my nursery fully the way I want it. 
and decorate it and stuff like that. It's, you know, some of the things that I never really got to do. Like I had somewhat of a nursery. Well, I had a nursery with the first baby. And then with the last baby, I kind of had somewhat of a nursery. But with the first and second baby, I had a nursery. But never really that nursery nursery that I wanted. So the dolls don't throw up. They don't outgrow their clothes. So if I buy them something for this year, they can wear it next year. So it's like not really wasteful when you look at it from that standpoint. So now my only big thing is, oh my God, isn't he adorable? <laughs> now my only thing is, is um, getting, is having a collection that I can keep, you know, from years and years be like, oh man, I had this, I remember I got this baby back when so-and-so and so. You know, not just every time you turn around, the baby is, it's a new baby, it's, the baby is gone, you know, that type thing. Um, so, yeah. Um, like, I couldn't believe that Noah been in my collection now a year. Can you guys believe that? A whole year. He's actually been here a year now. Um, which is kind of cool because, you know, with me, I I tend to switch my babies out quite often. But the Willows are such a delight to have. I won't lie. And I'm really, really trying to um, not get into a position where I feel like I have to sell them. Um, because they are my favorite sculpts. The these and the Gabby Gills, I really the Gabby Gills are they're my favorites. Um, of Claire Tellen. Some of my older favorite sculpts were like Zoe, um, Andrew, um. Stuff like that. I don't know if I like this collar shirt on on him. I don't know why. It came with two different types of shirts, but I don't know if I like the collar shirt. But I guess I, you know, y'all know I'm not preppy, so I don't know how this is supposed to go. If that really looks good to you guys or not, but I don't really like it. I love his blue and white socks though. <laughs> I had gotten them just so that the boys can have some socks because I realized that I don't have many socks. So I've been trying to build up on different socks and stuff like that. Um, and I stopped like over shopping, like shopping, just buying, just to be buying. I only buy stuff if I don't, if it don't like instantly tug at my heart, like, oh my God, I really love that. Like I feel like I really got to have it. Then I don't buy it anymore. Um, because then it kind of sits sometimes it, I never, they never even wear it at all. So, oh my God, she's so cute. I think this will look even better on Noah, but Noah's wore it once, but I mean, he looks good in white, but I think Noah would look better in the white. Just my opinion. I don't even want to put him on no shoes, but. I mean, just, just for video purposes, I'm going to see what he looks like with his shoes on. Oh, mama. Mr. Man. You are so adorable. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I think I like it. But, yeah. So, yeah. I, you know... I have some very weird ways about me. Um, but I, you know, I am who I am. I've I waited all my life to be this type of weird. Because <laughs> I always wanted to collect dolls and have them staged like real babies throughout my house. And just really have a really nice variety collection I did think though when I was growing up that I would have more of like yawning babies crying babies all different types of 
expressions. I don't think I really have that that part yet, but different sizes and um, skin tones and stuff like that I do try to have. Let me see what you guys can see. See if you guys can see how cute he is. Oh yeah, you guys see him. He is super, super adorable. This is I got a whole bunch of kids came in yesterday to so working be working on a lot of those reborn babies I got one that's already finished but she's getting ready to get hair and so once she get her hair you guys can um I will put her out for sale she is super adorable I think um and a skin tone that I don't do as mo as often so I really, um, really like that. But I'll show her. It's a Laura Lee Eagle baby's baby. I'll show her later. And I will be showing another baby that will have some changes going on to her really soon. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. So I will come back with another video um, and talk to you guys a little later. Baby Ada will come up soon. Um, I haven't changed her. I don't want to like overdress her like I told you guys before. Um, little Lily, she's been changed. I don't mind changing her over and over. Um, but she doesn't have as many clothes, so there's, there's, that's a dilemma there. But um, yeah, so I got, I've been getting a lot of the babies changed. Um, Katie Lou got changed in PJs yesterday too. So that's that's basically what I've been doing. Like I've been dressing my babies off camera. It's been very relaxing. Um, but yeah. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.